Hi everyone! In this video, I'll quickly explain my process for painting this camo pattern on my Vasquez model from the old time classic Aliens. I started by base coating khaki with an airbrush over a cinephile highlight to establish a good foundation for the pattern. I applied several thin coats to allow the appreciated primer to shine through and add depth. You can see my reference picture in the background. With this in hand, I traced one shape at a time with German field grey, matching the reference picture as closely as I could. The paint at this point was heavily thinned, acting as a safety net and allowing me to easily fix any mistakes by painting over it with the base coat. Once outlined, I carefully filled in the shapes, ensuring not to exceed the outline. This process was done patiently, adding one shape at a time. I allowed each layer to dry before adding another to ensure good coverage and avoid any brush marks. Once I got a feel for the shapes, I removed the reference picture and slowly started blocking in the first layers of the camo pen. While waiting for the paint to dry, I often worked on other parts of the model. This rotation kept the workflow smooth and efficient. Remember, patience is key here. The more time you spend on this step, the better the final result will be. For the next darker color, I avoided using pure black as it would be too harsh a color. Instead, I mixed black into my German field grey. With the mixed paint ready, I began outlining small shapes within the existing green, keeping them relatively small and confined to the green sections to avoid overwhelming the pattern. I followed the same outline and fill method as I did previously, tracing the shapes lightly at first and then gradually building up the paint layers. I often took a step back to view the model as a whole to maintain a balanced pattern. If one area seemed too dark or too light, I adjusted the shapes accordingly. In the reference picture there were some lighter small blobs on wiggly lines. For these I mixed deck tan with the khaki base coat. The result was a bit lighter than intended, but I liked the look so I went with it. These lighter spots seem to hug the borders of the black and green, breaking up the two colors and creating more contrast and definition. I mimic this by outlining thin lines and small shapes near the edges of the darker sections. By the end of this step, the camel pattern should have a rich and complex appearance, with well-defined shapes and highlights. At this point, the model looked a bit flat, so to add shadow and color variety to the camouflage, I used digital contrast paint from an airbrush, focusing on the underside of the model where shadows would naturally fall. The next step I wanted to try can be a bit harsh and dissolve the paint if not careful, so to protect the underlying paint, I applied a satin varnish. While drying, I prepared an oil wash by mixing burnt umber oil paint with mineral spirits. I could have used a pre-mixed paint like the one from AK, but sometimes I just like to mix it myself, so that's what I did. I used this mix to blackline all the edges and the seams of the model, applying the wash sparingly but enough to help define the crevices. This creates a sense of depth, visually separating different elements of the model, making it look more three-dimensional and realistic. After letting the wash dry for about 20 to 30 minutes, I soften any hard lines left by the oil wash, using a cotton swab moistened with mineral spirits. There you have it, a quick guide to how I painted the camouflage of this model. If you want to see how the rest of the model was painted, be sure to follow the link below. Thank you for watching.